Hey you, welcome back to Press Y to Jump Scare and today we're playing Sucker for Love. Now I know what you're thinking and I know what you're gonna say that I'm late to the game, playing this game, everyone else has done it, blah 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 blah. Um, I'm mostly playing this game for me. I've been excited to play this game for so long and I finally get to play it. So I'm just playing it just for fun. I wanna play, I wanna upload it, and if you enjoy hanging out with me, then uh, you'll want to just hang out with me as much as I want to hang out with you, so let's just get to it. Alright, let me make sure my, my hair, fix my hair. Okay, let's play. Okay, start a new date. Find all oh, three secrets to unlock. Survive chapter one to unlock. Okay, so this must be chapter one, huh? Is this it? Okay. Chapter one. Lynetta, my. Lynetta, my really scary girlfriend. Eldritch gods, cosmic horrors, things beyond our understanding to merely gaze upon their form is to abandon all hope. The only thing protecting all of reality from the final coalescence of insanity and terror is the fact that the unspeakable gods wait dreaming. Their awakening under aligned stars heralds the end. Today the stars are aligned. Just still making sure my camera's on. <laughs> Paranoid. Paranoid. Damn it, come on already. Same day shipping my ass. Right? That's how I feel sometimes. I only have a half hour tops until the stars move out of position. I better wash my face to calm down. A year ago, I saw the face of an eldritch being in my dreams. It whispered his name to me, Lanetta. Ever since, I've been obsessed with trying to see it again. I'm not the kind of person to get addicted to stuff or spin recklessly, but I just can't help myself. There's something I have to do once I see it again. Was that the door? Thank goodness. Oh, he has a pet turtle. 2D. I spent way too much money on getting this for me to miss my chance. The amount of money I've lost to scammers claiming to have the real deal is a little embarrassing, but as of today, as of today, I'll have a genuine Necronomicon, an ancient spell book containing the dark rituals needed to contact the elder gods. Finally, I'll. Huh? What the hell is this? Why is it pink? Isn't this supposed to be like Brown and bigger? It's supposed to be an ancient book covered in flesh or something, but this looks like it just came from an office supply store. No, please don't tell me. Scammed again. With how much money I spent this time, I thought there'd be no chance it'd be fake. Great. No way I'm getting my money back either. The scammer is probably long gone too. Damn it, I need a new hobby. Seriously. Ugh. What a strange scam, though. You'd think they'd at least try to go for an authentic look. Did they really think nobody would notice that their Book of the Dead is Malibu pink? I think it's pretty. I love pink. Wait, is this a symbol on, on the front? Embossed? Is this thing made of real leather? The pages look look gilt and gold, or is it gilt and gold? Sorry, the pages look 
skill in gold too. And this weight, why did it make a knock off out of such high quality materials? Oh, my computer. That's probably just the delivery confirmation, confirmation message. All right. Delayed arriving tomorrow. Track Patrick, pa track package. I'm being nosy. Amazing. That JP. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Real Necronomicon, not clickbait, not a scam, going sexual? <laughs> what the? My order was delayed. It won't be delivered until tomorrow. Then what the hell is this book supposed to be? Did it get delivered to me by accident or something? There's no shipping label on the box. Stranger still, this inscription at the bottom is... <laughs> Rely, rely, he, he, whatever it's called. Rely, he, rely, he, the unholy language of the eldritch gods. Also, the pages reek of formaldehyde and bombing fluid. In other words, it stinks of death. Why would something so cute have such an insidious aura around it? Maybe I'll take a look inside. Let's take a look inside. Objective performed a calling ritual. Hmm. Where did my book go? Oh, there we go. Oh, can I look? Can I be nosy? Perform the calling ritual. The calling. Ensure all possible light has been snuffed from the room. In your room, this means draw your curtains. Turn off your bedside lamp. Turn off overhead lights. In the dark, light red fire candles. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm so silly, I accidentally cut off the game. <laughs> Trying to click out of the book. Okay, so draw your curtains. <laughs> turn off your bedside lamp. Turn off your overhead lights. Okay, in the dark, l in the dark light red fire candles, they are for your protection. The dark is dangerous. Find and put on your ritual necklace. When this is all complete, chant Linnea off art. La, 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 la. Click and drag from the first letter to the end phrase. Oh, and chant slowly. Got it. Let's see. So I need to cut off all lights. What if I don't light the candles? What does it say? In the dark light, they are for your protection. The dark is dangerous. What happens if I don't light the candles? I'm just curious. Well, I guess I can't open it. Okay, cut off my lamp. Boom, 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 boom. Close the curtains. Can I cut off the light in here? Maybe draw these curtains? No, I guess that won't work. It has to be in my bedroom, huh? Okay, so the lamp is off. All right, just wanna make sure I can't go over there. Open. Okay. They said the dark is dangerous. I mean, I wanted to see what would happen, but I guess I can't. Oh, wait. Yes, I can. Hold on. What if I did this? I snuff it. All right. Blow it out. Wrong candles. Okay. <laughs> so I guess it's telling me it didn't work without the candles. <laughs> All right. Oh, change black. Okay. Red fire candles. And the dark light red fire candles. Okay. 
Okay. All right, I guess we got to do it. Let's see. Oh, wait, I need to find a ritual necklace. <laughs> find and put on your ritual necklace. Are you in there? Ritual. Oh, here it is. Where are the ritual necklace? Now. Let's see. I just... I'm just curious. Okay, no, still doesn't work. There we go. Fine. Mortal. Hey. Oh God, it actually worked. She's here. A beacon of madness is towering over me, and I'm um, an omnipotent and chaotic avatar of world-ending calamity. Even with a year of preparation for this moment, I'm frozen in fear. For what purpose have you awoken Laneha the Star Spawn and brought about the end of reality? I can't talk. I can't even breathe. Blinding dread, choking terror, my very sanity is teetering on the precipice and looking down. No, I finally got this far. I finally have my chance. I can't perish now. The Dark One, I ask that you grant my wish. You wish to be the first human to be destroyed, yes? So that you are spared from the cataclysm I shall wreak upon all life? No, I want, I want to smooch ya. I want to smooth. Don't say it again, creep. And how are you looking directly at me without being driven mad? I'm mad with lust. Send me back. Huh? But you just got here. What about destroying reality as I know it? I'll do it next time. Maybe when the stars realign in a thousand years or so. But I'll be long dead by then. Exactly. Hey, I went through all the trouble of finding this damn book. The least you could do is... Where'd you get that book? Huh? What, this? I found it outside my door. That Moo. Always trying to set me up with someone. Moo? Who's that? Are they the one who I left this funny looking Necronomicon on my door? It's not a Necronomicon. It's not? What Necronomicon is bright pink, silly? God, she's cute, but what with the sudden personality change? But what's with the certain personality change? Does she recognize the book? Er, well, if it's not a Necronomicon, what is it? It's a survival guide. For what? For dating me. What, really? This thing? It's full of rituals that I like. Offerings, spells, and how to protect your sanity while performing them. I struck gold. All the money I spent finally paid off. Wait, what she just say? Protect my sanity? I am a cosmic entity beyond comprehension. So no amount of contact with me is safe for a human. Your mind could snap like a reed at any moment, actually. Go. Oh, don't make that face. I can make it worth your while, if you understand what I'm getting at. Ooh, okay. You'll let me smooch ya? If you can make it to the end, darling. Oh. But if you chicken out or go insane, I'll end reality right then and there. Will you spare the world if I win that kiss? You knew what you were getting into when you woke me up, right, darling? Looks like my only two options are die or die without getting a kiss. Hmm. Well, they say if you've already eaten the poison, you might as well lick the plate. So if the world is going to end either way... Deal! Yes. Let's end the world as long as I get that smooch. Let's begin the date then. Why don't you start with the invoke the depths ritual? 
All right, perform and vote depth, the depths. Okay. Do not perform this ritual alone. Snuff all light in the room. Turn your turn on your sink or shower to make the sound of moving water. When all is complete, chant blah 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 blah. blah. Right, snuff all light from the room. Do not look out your window from now on. Okay, so I cannot look out the window. So I guess after this, I can't look out the window. All right, let's see. So all the, all the lights in the room, turn on the sink or the shower, and then chant. Sniff all the light from the room. So I assume that. All right, off. Are the curtains drawn? Yes. Let's cut on the sink. Hi! I wonder what she'll say. Well, what's with the worried look, darling? I shouldn't be doing these spells alone. The book says but so. you aren't alone. I'm here. You know what I mean. These rituals look really bad for my long-term health. Long-term health? The world ends when this date does. What does it matter if your mind is unraveling? <laughs> Nobody is in this world for the long haul anymore. These rituals look bad for my short-term health too. Well, you better finish them quickly then. She has no heart. Okay. Let's see. All right. So I have to, oh wait, I needed that book. So now that everything is off. No light? I have no light on. What are you talking about? Oh, the, the light was on, I had no idea. Okay, now. Are we? What did I just do? You brought the outer depths to us. Didn't you read the spell's name? Our connection is stronger now. The closer you get to where my true form lies dreaming, the stronger my influence on you in this world. Will I be okay? Just focus on following the book perfectly. You're good to start doing these rituals on your own, right? No, no, no. Wait, why are you leaving? Getting a little icky from the summoning, so I wanted to use your shower. Do you mind? Uh, no, not at all. Go ahead. <laughs> Thanks. No peeking. Haha. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean it. Don't peek. I can't promise that. I won't. Mm -hmm. I won't peek. You're sure you won't? Positive. All right, I'll be back in a jiffy. What happens if I do? Perform abysmal mist. Can I peek? She's gonna kill me. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> wanted to see what would happen. I knew what would kind of end the game. <laughs> okay. So now perform Abysmal Mist. I love the music. Ensure your sink or shower is running to make the sound of moving water. Then go outside. Avoid making eye contact with that which roams the fog. They'll know if you saw them. Turn off your lights before you leave. This one isn't a warning. It'll just help lower your electricity bill. <laughs> All right. Avoid making eye contact with that which roams the fog. They'll know if you saw them. One with that which roams the fog. 
All right, so she's in the shower, so I should be good. Turn for lights before you leave. Okay. And then chant. All right, everything's off, right? I'm back. I am back. I'm sure you noticed that the lighting is different. I had to pause and come back to this much, much later. But I'm back though, and I can't wait to get started and to continue with this game here. Okay. So, <clears throat> all right, so the sink and the shower's running. Avoid making eye contact with the with with that which roams the fog. They'll know if you saw them. Turn off your lights before you leave. This one isn't a warning. It's just it'll just help lower your electricity bill. Okay, so oops. Geez, it looks like quiet hill out here with all this fog. Is something moving out there? <gasps> Darling, you didn't! I love foggy, rainy days by the sea. It's like my favorite weather on the surface world. I didn't know you have a house on the water! Yeah! I didn't five minutes ago. In fact, I'm hundreds of kilometers from the coast. Even the wildest of hurricanes would never flood the area like this. What terrible power is this thing capable of? Ah, there's something just so romantic about standing on a balcony during a storm. Uh-huh. Sorry. I hate to cut this fun short, but can we go back inside now? What's wrong, darling? getting chilly it feels like something's watching me from out there oh I can't we make can go inside if you like but it's not like it's any safer in there cuz I'm gonna kill you after all the next page in the book has an unspeakable horror on it go unspeakable horror some kind of monsters gonna jump out at me you'll see what I mean objective perform unspeakable horror What is that painting in the background? Anywho. All right, ensure your sink or shower is running to so make the sound of moving water, then go outside. Oh, this might not be a... Well then what's this? I can't read it, abysmal mist. What's that? Ooh. I don't understand any of this. Am I supposed to talk to her? Oh, oh goodness, this looks scarier and scarier. If we get the lights off. Nothing, it's just your imagination. Alright, I wish I could talk to her. I don't see a spell called Unspeakable Horror. Alright. Can I talk to you? Alright, perform Unspeakable Horror. Where? Okay. Where is this unspeakable horror? Evoke the depths, the calling.
This must be unspeakable. What the hell? I can't even begin to pronounce this. Yeah, duh. That's why it's an unspeakable <laughs> horror. <laughs> unspeakable. Get it? As in, cannot be spoken. At least not by humans. Wait, you can pronounce this? Of course I can. I can pronounce anything. Anything? Anything. Oh yeah? Then what's this? I think it's Worcestershire sauce. That's what I like to call it. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Damn, you are the real deal. Hey, wait a minute. Those tentacles are like extra tongues, right? Then your weakness is tongue twisters. Say toy boat ten times fast. Toy Toy boat, 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 toy boat. Show off. Perform Eldritch Mouth. Eldritch Mouth. This ritual will allow you to other unspeakable incantations. Perform this ritual someplace where gore can be cleansed easily, like a bathroom, where no robes or amulets have a ritual knife on your person okay perform rituals someplace like a clean that be clean easily like a bathroom wear no robes or amulets i am wearing an amulet right now have a ritual knife on your person okay okay so that's an amulet i need the knife Eldritch Mouth, huh? Maybe I should have considered the spell more carefully before casting it. If there's so much as a single scar, I might actually lose my job. Please don't let me have something freaky on my face. It's my livelihood on the line here. Okay. Big breaths. Brace yourself. You look normal, man. I'm... I'm... I'm still cute as hell. But I thought I'd get an Eldritch Mouth or something. Everything seems pretty much the same. Weird. Hey, Lynetta? Yes? Ah! You startled me! Y you called me! Ah! Who the hell was that third voice? What are you talking about? That was you! Look! She takes a hold of my hand. Whoa! Hand holding on the first date, moving fast, but that's okay. No, look at your hand, silly. Oh no, I have a mouth on my hand. My hand? Ah! <laughs> oh, F! What? Get off! Get it off! Quick, grab the knife from the bedroom to cut it off! Hurry! Cut it off? But it's your hand now. See? Surely enough, it's not a disembodied mouth stuck to my hand. It's a very much embodied mouth indeed. <sighs> Is this really my hand? What did I do to my hand? <laughs> Darling, are you all right? This is screwed up. I mean, I knew I'd be in harm's way, but permanent body disfigurement this early on? But I'm not stopping before I get that smooch, no matter what. <laughs> I just gotta think positive. This isn't so bad. <laughs> I mean, there's gotta be a silver lining to this. That smooch. <laughs> now I have my pick of which mouth to use when I smooch ya. <laughs> Darling. Is someone at the door? This is bad. Did I get busted? The sudden shock feels like a splash of cold water that snaps me to my senses. Damn, I must have done something to give us away. Was I shouting too loudly about that knife? Did the neighbors call the cops? 
If someone interrupts my rituals now, the stars will fall out of alignment before I can finish. Damn it. I even picked the apartment on top of on the top floor to minimize the number of people noticing odd sounds or smells from my room. <laughs> if it's the police, they're going to insist on looking around. I'm not going to be able to smooth talk my way out of a demon in my room. Either way, I need to prepare myself now. Who knows how quickly things are going to go south once I answer the door. Hello, are you in? <laughs> I heard you shouting just now. Come on, let me in. Crap, it's even worse than the police. There's only one person it could be. And at the worst possible time. What do I do? Is it even safe to go outside right now with all of the world bending spells I've been casting? Who's that, darling? Uh, probably the mailman. I'll make them leave. Give me a sec. You don't look so good. Maybe I should get the door? No. I mean, no. I really don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Well, you're a mind flaying goddess. <laughs> Maybe it'll be too much for someone who wasn't expecting it. Hmm. I guess that's a good point. Wait here. I'll be right back. Go. Missy, hey, good to see you. How do you do? I hope it wasn't too forward of me to call upon you in your own private department. Missy, she's an old money rich girl that suddenly showed up to the club I work at and started showering me with gifts. Are you an escort, man? Anyway, she doesn't quite understand that she's not supposed to contact me outside working hours, but it's hard to complain when she basically pays my rent. You are an escort. In fact, she's pretty much the only reason I could afford to buy all this eldritch paraphernalia. But best of all, she's smoking hot. If I may be so bold, I... Well, I have something special to give you. May I come in? Oh, God, yes. Oh, hell, yes. Right this way. Mm. Wait, Lynetta's inside. I got so caught up in the moment, I almost forgot. Uh, actually, now's not a good time. Think you could just give me, give it to me out here? Oh, it's not the kind of present I can give you out in the open. A present that has to be given in private? Oh, man, what could it be? Heh, <laughs> Wait, almost lost sight of things. Again, if Lynetta and Missy meet, I'm toast. Can I really not help myself with my life on the line here? Say something, idiot. Ah, uh, well, I, I can't get away right now. How about we meet up after work? I can't go out after dark. Right, I forgot her weird curfew. Why can't we just go inside? I really want to give you your present now. Darling, what's taking so long? Is Lynetta coming to the door? I can hear her footsteps. Huh? Who is that? You have company over? That's just the mailman? <laughs> Inside your apartment? Shoot! I got my lame excuses mixed up. Oh man, she's pissed. Sorry, Missy. This is the only way I survived this. What's going on, darling? Uh, turns out it was one of those uh door-to-door -door salesmen. They could be really pushy, you know. <laughs> Let me <in> now. <laughs> I don't want any, huh? Want me to make them go away? No, I got this. You just have to be persistent. Eventually, they give up. Did she finally give up? I better smooth things over with her later before she tries anything crazy. Especially now that she knows where I live. Better hurry through these rituals before there's more interruptions. Okay. Perform metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. Do not attempt this ritual without performing the calling. Invoke the depths. 
proceed in total darkness no lights no candles ensure his image appears in no way in poster or tapestry got it take that poster down wear a ceremonial robe and ritual necklace wear a mask or headpiece to distort your figures okay i need to take a break from this not a break but all right Sure's image appears in no way poster or tapestry. So I need to remove this poster. I need the headpiece. I need the necklace. Ooh, where's my robe? Is there a robe in here? No. Okay. Total darkness, no lights, no candles, and sure his image appears in no way. And poster tapestry. Wear some ceremonial robe and ritual necklace. Wear a mask or headpiece to the sword have, have a ceremonial knife on your person. I always remember the second step to the previous page. Okay, proceed in total darkness. I need the ceremonial robe. Always remember the second step on the page. When all is complete, chant blah 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 blah. Okay, am I wearing the robe? Nope. I could just already be wearing the robe and don't even realize it. So let's try. Well, I'm not wearing a robe then. Um, this is a turtle. Oh, <laughs> there is my robe. Hello, handsome. A human before now you're totally my type that mannequin looks like it looks like it's bleeding I'm trying to respond but no sound is coming out of my mouth even when I try to shut shout as loud as I can I can't even manage a whisper something is not right what happened to me I want to see the mirror what do I look like <laughs> uh, he's like, no. All right, perform, prepare offering. Illuminate the room to your comfort. Collect necessary ingredients from cold storage. Darling, what are you looking at? Oh God, I was just curious. Nothing, huh? You were looking at nothing? Is that the truth? Hmm. <laughs> Did I scare you, darling? Good. I know what page you were on. No! If I see you trying to cast that spell about nothing, you won't get past the second word. Oh, that's scary. Alright. I was just curious. Anywho. Illuminate the room to your comfort. Collect the necessary ingredients from sto cold storage. Ensure the symbol is present nearby. Triangle. Thing. Two triangles in the form of some sort of star and a diamond in a circle.
Is this it? Yeah, it was two triangles in the form of some sort of star. And then a diamond in the middle. Oh, this is what I'm wearing. And what else do I have to do? Chant this. That already smells delicious, darling. All it needs is a little something and it'll be perfect. Hmm. I'm going to take a short walk outside while you finish. See you in a few, love. I will look at the breakup page, but I guess I'm trying to get the good ending first. Perform breach into oblivion. Wear a ceremonial robe and have a ritual knife in your possession. Ensure the symbol is present nearby. Have another life form on your person. Haha. <laughs> Alright, so the turtle. I have the ceremonial robe. I have the knife. I just got to get the eye symbol. All right. All right, eye symbol. All right. There we go. So eye symbol, got the turtle, and Her name, her name, her name, her name, her name, her name, her name. Do I put the turtle back, huh? That's funny. Are those my fingers? Yep. Escape reality. If you can read this reality in Zoom, once you start the ritual, complete all three pages quickly. You will be vulnerable. Do not open any blinds, windows, doors. Do not turn on any lights. Snuff existing light. Ensure symbols nearby. Okay. I think this was it. That was an accident. <laughs> Whoops. I'm gonna cheat. I think it's this one. I can't remember. Is it this one? Oh no, it wasn't that one. Oh, that one. Okay. Oh, she's coming. Hope I got nervous. Oh yeah. Uh, that one, the cross one. Cross, cross, cross. 
All right. Darling, what's wrong? You're pale as a sheet. <laughs> I can tell by the look on your face. You caught a glimpse of the real world now that I'm waking up. Guess you aren't as sane as you thought, huh, darling? Oh, sweetie, don't worry about reality. It doesn't have anything to do with you anymore. Though, I should tell you, everything you saw and heard, it's still there. What you saw coming through your window is still coming through. Very soon, it'll be impossible to deny its presence, if you like. I could move you to the front of the line and... and you painlessly myself. As thanks for waking me up. You wouldn't hear their screams anymore. Or feel that chill up your spine where that tentacle is already touching. Or maybe you'd prefer to be saved for last. Have the whole doomed world all for yourself for a while. Though the things you'd see if you lingered... Being destroyed first or last? Which would you prefer? My darling. Performed a dark communion. Do not attempt this ritual without performing. Prepare offering. Reach into oblivion. Let the room be well lit. Well, no robes or necklaces. Have the off. What's the offering? Have the offering on your person. I guess that means the meat offering. Room be lit. Oh, cake? Cake is the offering? No robes or necklace. Room gotta be well lit. Okay, I think I can't open up the window right now. Delicious! Just perfect! I wish you could make offerings like this forever! Well, my devoted darling, there is only one last spell to perform. Pledging yourself to me! Take heart. Your pledge of devotion will be the last act of humanity for all of time. The final words ever spoken by humankind will come from your fairy mouth and echo into oblivion. The privilege is yours alone. Why? I guess I chose this for a smooch. Okay. I may be inexperienced with human emotions, but even I know that saying goodbye to your world can be painful. Take all the time you need to make peace with the end. I'm going to take a short nap before I wake up for good. Could you hit the lights for me, darling? Okay, perform the last ritual. have ritual knife on your person chant five times to fill up the heart what am I thinking Ooh. Your lips are pale now. It's done. The last ritual. You did wonderfully. The lips were pale. That was pretty creepy. I'm like, am I losing blood? <laughs> I'm afraid it's time for the dream and our date. 
to end. That look on your face. Darling, I had a wonderful date with you. And that's because of you. So why destroy me? And all of reality? Why not just stay here with me? That's what you're thinking, right? Oh, my sweet mortal darling. I'm not doing this out of malice. You've had good dreams before, right? Well, when you woke up, you destroyed those dream worlds and everything in them. Did you wake up because you hated those dreams? No. It just couldn't be helped that you'd wake up eventually. I love humans, and I'll miss you sorely. Please let your last thoughts be about that. Doubt it. Don't think I forgot about my promise to you. Fucker up, my darling. <laughs> You've earned it. Goodbye. <laughs> Awake in. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, all right. Guess I just need to go back and see if I can get another ending, huh? Right. Let the room be well lit. Ensure the symbol. Blah blah blah. Chant three times assertively. Oh, I was just there at that symbol. Rats. Okay. All right, the room is well lit. Ensure the symbols are match it. Do times assertively. Lanetta? Did it work? My face and hands are back to normal. Did I really do it? <laughs> Darling! Why? Why did you break our connection? I'm cut off from the rest of me! She's cute. How could you? Why did you? Why did you break my heart? I did what I had to do. Sorry, darling. World's not an ending today. I think we should see other people. Was I not good enough? Did you have a bad time on our date? Yeah, you were trying to you were trying to destroy humanity. I had second thoughts about that smooch. I don't think I wanted that smooch that bad. Is there is there another woman? No, none of that. I was pretty much just it was pretty much just that you were going to end all reality. And yeah. Nope, that's it. That's the deal breaker. <laughs> yeah. What? But you woke me up in the first place! Come on, we both know I got more than I bargained for. <laughs> oh, darling. You realize I still have control here, right? If you want to smooch my real form, you have no choice but to do the spells over. Eh, uh, a squid is fine too. Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry, baby cakes. Good enough in. <laughs> Am I missing any other endings? Okay, met Lanetta. This was fun. Got true endings achieved two, two out of two. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm super happy with that. This was super fun, the first chapter. Haha. <laughs> okay. Chapter two. Oh, cool. There's another chapter, huh? Okay. Well, I guess that's it for now. Uh, this was an amazing game. Um, I had a lot of fun playing it. And I hope you enjoyed my playthrough too. I know it was 
I have this tendency to be quiet while I'm concentrating. I got to be more talkative. Um, well, thank you so much for joining me. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.